Hello guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome to this new training series on how to make money with SoloX Common FAQ Part 8. Now you might be wondering, why is this a new complete series but I do not start from Part 1? Well, the reason is if you refer to my channel, I already have Common FAQs from Part 1 to Part 7 which I have discussed before via various questions both on the Udemy platform which is a Udemy forum, as well as some from the Quora forum. However, in this particular training tutorial series, I'm going to focus more in terms of the Quora platform questions. So without further ado, let's take a look at the very first question that I see on the Quora platform. Now, if you guys proceed to Quora.com and just type in solo ads, all right? So from there, you'll see a lot of questions that's being asked on this platform per se. Now, Quora is a Q&A platform whereby people post questions and those who are aware or rather those who have the knowledge to answer those questions will go ahead and do that. Or else, those who are regular content creators, they will actually come up with their own questions and give their two cents worth in terms of what exactly this particular question address, how to tackle this question per se. So what happens is when I scroll down the results, I start to notice question number three is what are the best places for solo ads for internet marketing? At the same time, what is the best place to buy solo ads? Again, what are the best solo ads for affiliate marketing? Again, do solo ads really work for affiliate marketing? I bought once but no sales. In a nutshell, what this question really asks is, where exactly can I find the best solo ads provider? Now, if you refer to the link on top of this video, you will see that I've created an almost two and a half hours tutorial on how to set up your entire email marketing system with the help of your funnel builder software, which is Lead Pages email autoresponder, which is Aweber, plus very importantly, the third-party tracking software, which is Optin Dojo, in order to start tracking everything. Now, you can refer to all the links in the description box below this video. These are all my affiliate links. So whenever you subscribe to these services, there's no additional cost to you. However, from there, I will receive an affiliate commission, and that is where it incentivizes me to come up with more videos like this to help you guys along your email marketing journey, especially when it comes to using solo ads as a traffic source. So personally, when I first started doing affiliate marketing, I was trying things like paid advertising, Facebook ads, so and so forth, until eventually I decided to focus on just solo ads and email marketing. Because there's a saying out there, the money is in the least. Now guys, think about it. Wouldn't you want to have a lifestyle whereby every day, all you need to do is to spend 30 minutes to an hour to draft emails, press the send buttons, and every day along the way, even when you wake up tomorrow, you are still making money. All right, and this is a repetitive process. And I want to mention 30 minutes to an hour per day. So easily, if you have a large enough and responsive email list, you are easily making a five-figure or even six-figure income every single month by just spending that 30 minutes to one hour, as I emphasized. However, the question is, even though a lot of people know that the money is in the list, of course, we need to find out where exactly are the quality traffic sources. So when I talk about solo ads, quality traffic sources are where exactly can I find good solo ad providers. Now, again, I have listed some links in the description box below this video on my personal recommended traffic sources. Number one will be purchasing, of course, from myself because I'm also a solo ad provider. Now, one thing unique about my solo ads is I provide 100% USA clicks. On top of that, anybody who purchased my solo ads, I will hop on to a free complimentary Zoom session with you to run through your entire email marketing setup. As mentioned from one of these subscribers of mine, whereby he has commented fantastic for newbies starting out, someone who offers to analyze your sales funnel and not many solo ads offers this service for free. This is the kind of complimentary service that I allow all my buyers of my solo ads, even if you just purchase 100 clicks from me. I will hop on to a complimentary Zoom session with you to run through your entire funnel to analyze with you whether this particular offer that you're trying to promote on your front end is suitable or not suitable for solo ads. Especially for new beginners, when they try to dabble into high ticket affiliate marketing and they think that by running solo ads traffic to it, they can easily earn $1,000, $2,000 per sale. Now, this is literally almost impossible because of the nature of solo ads traffic. All right. So you might want to consider purchasing some clicks from myself. The second provider that I have will be Traffic Blade. So this is also a very regular vendor that I myself purchase solo ad clicks from, as well as my Inner Circle Mentorship Program members. Of course, I have some solo ad providers recommended lists on the Udemy list, whereby you could go ahead, use the link in the description box below this video to open up a free Udemy account. And on your very first purchase, Udemy will actually offer you a $5 discount. So in a nutshell, how exactly do we find the best solo ad providers? 
Like for myself, how do I come up with all these different vendors? Now, myself exclusive, looking at all the different Sorite vendors that I recommend to you guys, the reason is because I'm using this third-party tracking tool called Optin Dojo. Refer to the link in the description box below this video, you will reach this page called Optin Dojo. Now guys, if you are going to embark into SoloS business, that means to say you're going to use SoloS as your main traffic source to build your email list and embark into email marketing, you cannot afford not to use Optin Dojo. You cannot afford not to. Because of the tracking capability of Optin Dojo, especially when it comes to SoloS purchase. The creator of Optin Dojo called Vita V, he came up with Optin Dojo with the initial intention to track the performance of solo ad vendors. You see, guys, when it comes to getting solo ads, the main issue is every time, even if you get a sale, you have no idea literally where the sale came from. If you're talking about front-end sales, of course you can. Like, for example, you purchase one solo ad vendor at a time. When you get any form of front-end sales, you will know that it's generally attributed to the main traffic source that you are purchasing at this point in time. However, as the saying goes, the money is in the list, it's not in the front end sales. So every time when you send out email broadcasts or email automation messages and you get sales, the problem is you're not able to attribute this sale originated from which solo ad vendor. Now this is definitely important because end of the day, we want to know which solo ad vendor is giving us the fastest ROI. If you scroll down Optin Dojo, you will see that there are three different pricing plans within Optin Dojo itself. Namely, the marketer plan, the pro plan, as well as the guru plan. So for complete beginners, just go for the marketer plan alone will do. All right. Again, for those of you guys who use my affiliate link to purchase Optin Dojo subscription, I will allow you to hop on to a complimentary Zoom session with me for me to run through the setup of Optin Dojo with you. Right, because there's no point for you to subscribe to this software, but you have no idea how to use it. So to answer the questions on the quarter that we saw just now, where exactly is the best place to purchase solo ads? Of course, shortcut way, go to the link in my description box below this video. I have some recommended traffic sources for you. The long way, or you can say something that you want to trial and error on your own, is by using Optin Dojo to track the performance of individual solo ad vendors. What is the minimum number of clicks that I will suggest you guys to go for? At least 300 clicks, guys. At least 300 clicks. And do not attempt to put in too many offers in the rotator. All right? 300 clicks, test one offer. Number one, you are testing the effectiveness of the solo vendor's clicks. Number two, you are also testing whether this particular offer is able to convert for you. Because if you put in too many offers and just purchasing only 300 clicks, the hops, which means to say the people who see the individual offers in a rotator actually gets diluted. And the numbers are simply too small for you to justify or come to a conclusion whether this offer will work. In summary, there is no such thing as where exactly is the best source that I can purchase solo ads from. End of the day, it really depends on your testing. Use the right software tool like Optin Dojo to test different solo ad vendors. Number two, you also need to know what to do with your subscribers once they enter into your email marketing system. Because, guys, there is no point for you to keep buying clicks again, over and over again, but you do not know how to set up the whole system well. It's like you're trying to run a 7-Eleven franchise, but you're not learning the ropes from the franchisor to run this business, and all you care about is keep on flooding your store with inventories. Right? So that is not going to work out for you as well because you need to understand the whole system flow of running a proper franchisee like 7-Eleven, cheers, so and so forth. Okay guys, so I'll see you in the next recording where we talk about the common FAQ part 9. Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here from Singapore and welcome to the new tutorial series part 9 on how to make money with solo ads. So as per this entire new series, I'll be addressing certain questions that I find on the Quora platform when it comes to making money with solo ads. Referring to the screen over here, let's take a look at this particular question. Can solo ads actually make money? I'm sure that a lot of you guys who have experimented with solo ads tend to have a pretty negative connotations when it comes to solo ads making money. Actually, the main reason is not because that it cannot make money, but a lot of you guys could have potentially been misled by different so-called gurus out there on the internet thinking that by just running solo ads traffic to a respective affiliate offers, you can get a positive return on investment. Now, that is entirely untrue. If you ask any solo ads buyers, the chances of them actually returning a positive ROI 
whenever you purchase clicks from Sorab vendors, it's literally close to zero. All right, literally close to zero. Why? Because the easiest way for you to get affiliate commissions is by promoting mid-ticket or even high-ticket offers. However, the psychology of solo ad buyers are not meant for mid-ticket or even high-ticket offers per se. That is where you need to foster the know, like, trust with your solo ad subscribers after they have opted into your squeeze page via your email marketing campaigns in the form of email automation messages or email broadcasts. Now, of course, Addressing back to the questions, can solo ads really make money? Of course, there are certain issues that you need to take into consideration, like for example, the quality of the traffic that the solo ad vendor is providing for you. So that is where you will need a third-party tracking software like Opt-in Dojo, which you can refer to the link in the description box below this video, because this particular third-party tracking software, the developer Mr. Vita V really created it meant for solo ads buyers. With this kind of tracking software, you can track individual solo ad vendors. What kind of quality of the clicks are they delivering? What is the open rates like? What are the click-through rates like pertaining to individual solo ad vendor? Not only that, your front-end sales, your back-end sales can all be traced to which solo ad vendor initially provided all these leads. Now, this is something that not any other tracking software that I know of in the marketplace is able to do so. And the cheapest plan for Optin Dojo is barely $37 per month. So this is really a steal deal considering the amount of money that you're going to invest by purchasing solo S clicks. So let's say assuming you manage to find a proper vendor who is delivering quality solo S clicks to you. The next thing then is forget about the front end sales, my dear. All right. Most importantly, promote just the low ticket offers. Why? Because we need to filter out who are the buyers versus who are the non-buyers. Who are the freebie seekers? Guys, like it or not, if you are an existing affiliate marketer, trust me, more than 60% of the people on the internet are looking out for free information. They are looking out for free training. They want everything for free so that they can learn it for free. And when they implement it, if they realize that, hey, it's not working, then they start to blame different YouTube creators, different blog content article writers that they are all talking bullshit. It's not true. You see, guys, just like this particular video, I will not be disclosing all the advanced strategies that I share with my inner circle members, right? Because of my years of experience when it comes to doing email marketing, I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into different courses, purchasing of solo S clicks in order to figure out how this whole system works. And even for those who are inside my inner circle at this point in time, it is not something that I could share in just one sitting of two hours or even one hour. It is something that takes a progressive period of time for you guys to eventually internalize the strategy, internalize the concept, and from there execute it to reap the positive return on investments. You see, guys, when it comes to solo ads, remember there's only one objective. The objective is to build a large, responsive email list. With this large responsive email list, if you know how to handle all these subscribers, that is where you're able to reap multiple sources of income. To be honest, at any point in time, I'm promoting more than 10 different offers, all right, more than 10 different offers from various different platforms. But do I use all the 10 different offers in one rotator? No, that is also not the way to do it because I need to check what is the open rate like, I need to check what's the click-through rate like, I need to check what's the number of hops to individual offers in order to optimize the kind of offer, I need to check the statistics to know which particular offer converts best for my subscribers in order to optimize my return on investment as well. You see, everything happens on the back end, my dear friend. It does not happen on the front end. If any email marketer were to tell you that back end is not important, just focus on the front end. The only reason is because they are running paid traffic on places like Facebook, Google, Microsoft advertising, or even TikTok ads. You see, these kind of advertisements is really meant for you to optimize ad group and the ad creative to get the front end sales as soon as you can, even after a free webinar. All right, the, the email follow up does not give you much sales. That is reverse. But when it comes to using solo ads traffic, that is when you must understand the front end sales is not going to give you the positive return on investment. It all happens in the back end, especially how you segment the entire list. So back to the question, does solo ads really work? This is a wrong question. The question should be, after I have purchased solo ads clicks to build a large responsive email list, 
how can I make it work? That is the correct question per se. All right, guys, so if you're interested to find out anything pertaining to my mentorship program, refer to the links in the description box below this video. For this Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year Eve, and New Year Day, I'm actually offering a $2,000 US discount off my Inner Circle program just for these four days. All right, so please refer to the links in the description box below this video to find out more. Now, at the same time, last thing, for some of you guys who do not know how to contact me, all right, especially when you purchase certain products via my affiliate links, you can always refer to the description box below this video. I've left for you guys my Skype ID. Alternatively, you can refer to this email address to contact me per se. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next recording. Take care. Hi there, my friends. This is Benjamin here from Singapore, and welcome to my new training series on this part 10 of how to make money with solo ads. Now, if you have missed any of the previous parts of this entire training series, whereby I address different questions on different forums, such as on the Udemy forum, as well as on the Quora platform. So please refer to the respective links in the description box below this video. In today's discussion, let's look at one of the questions that's been posted by one of the Quora platform user. What do you look for in a solo ad provider? Now, this is of course a very important question per se, because whenever you are running solo ads, you want to make sure that you're purchasing from someone with proven track records and who really knows what he or she is doing. Now, first and foremost, the thing that I'll look out for in a solo ads provider is number one, the pricing. Now, please don't get me wrong. I generally do not purchase from solo ads providers that offer very cheap cost per click. Why? Because if they are selling me at a very cheap cost per click, it actually gives me very um, dubious doubts on their traffic sources, on where exactly they are getting the traffic sources from. Because end of the day, they also need to make a profit, isn't it? Now, you see, the cost per click when it comes to running paid advertising on places like Google and Bing is not cheap. Easily more than a dollar, 70, 80, 90 cents. All right, at least if you know how to optimize the campaigns. So, if my leads are coming from these kind of traffic sources, do you think I will sell to you at 30 cents, 40 cents? Definitely not. All right, so that's the number one thing that we'll be looking at. Second thing that we look at is in terms of the communication with the solo ad provider. There must be a way for me to communicate with the solo ad provider if I happens to meet any form of challenges along the way. Like for example, let's say I ordered a thousand clicks, but only 600, 700 clicks were delivered. So that's where I need to check with the solo ad provider what exactly is happening. All right. So there are some platforms whereby it will be very difficult for you to approach a solo ad provider, which I do not know why. Okay. So please choose very carefully. The third and the most important things in terms of how I select the good solar provider is by using the third party tracking tool called Optin Dojo. Now, I've mentioned Optin Dojo several times in this entire training series, and I have also a lot of you guys who subscribe to Optin Dojo and all the best for your email marketing by using this third party tracking tool with SoloS traffic. For those of you who have purchased or subscribed to Optin Dojo, by using my affiliate link, but have not arranged a complimentary Zoom session with me, for me to run through your entire Optin Dojo setup, please refer to this particular email address. You can contact me via there. All right. So for those of you guys who have not purchased Optin Dojo yet, please do so. All right. Please refer to the links in the description box below this video. Now, with the help of Optin Dojo, I'm able to track things like what is the open rates of individual solo ad providers? What are the click-through rates of individual solo ad providers? The sales they are coming from different solo ad providers. When I mean the sales, I'm not concerned about the front-end sales. I've mentioned this several times. If you are actually running solo as traffic, do not, I can't help but emphasize this thing. Do not emphasize on the front-end sales because the chances of you getting a proper decent return on investment by your front-end sales is literally close to zero, all right? The whole objective of SoloS is not for sales. The whole objective of SoloS is to build up your email list. And it's what you do with your subscribers at the back end via your email marketing business, which is via your email automation messages or email broadcasts that will determine the back-end sales. Now, in current market, to the best of my knowledge, there's no other tool other than Optin Dojo that's able to track the back-end sales originated from which solo ad provider. Right now, this is very, very, very important because at the end of the day, when you want to calculate the ROI of the returns of investment from the cost that you have invested into different solo ad providers, you need to take into consideration, including those back-end sales, whereby the majority of the money is going to come from. All right, and then when I mean back-end sales, I'm not just talking about sending email automation and sending broadcasts and that's it. 
right? If you refer to my entire training series on my YouTube channel, you will notice that I mentioned several times that you can also use Softin Dojo to build up your respective buyer's email list. Like for example, your buyer's list C, buyer's list B, and your buyer's list A. All right, so end of the day, now I say the third component, which is the most important one, as I re-emphasize again, are the data and the statistics that I could obtain from Optin Dojo. That is how I test different solo app providers and end of the day, select the ones that give me the best responsive email list. Now, for those of you guys who really wish to embark into email marketing or even making money online, various or the different strategies that top affiliate marketers use or say top online marketers use, please refer to the links in the description box below this video on my various mentorship program. For example, if you look at my Passive Income Profits Mentorship Program, scroll down all the way, you will see these three different levels of mentorship. The first will include things like the Beginners Club, the second will be on the Star Club, and the third will be my Inner Circle. The pricing for my Inner Circle to enroll used to be $4,997 US dollars, but because of this festive season, I've given a $2,000 discount off. There's no need for any form of discount code. If you decide to enroll the Inner Circle, all you have to do is to click over here to click on Enroll Now, and you can see over here, the pricing has been reduced to 2997 All right, so let's go back again to look at the different levels of mentorship and what exactly each of them entail. For the beginner's club, it's a $7 USD one time. So what happens over here is you'll receive 100 over videos on the top four strategies that online marketers use. Namely, number one, email marketing. Number two, social media marketing. Number three, running of paid advertising. And number four, launching your very own digital course online. All right, so let's take a look at the curriculum. So these are all the different video trainings that you will receive over here. Like for example, how does our in-house compensation work? Affiliate marketing, email marketing, custom domains, funnels, how to use get response, CPA offers, traffic, social media marketing, things like TikTok videos, uh, YouTube shorts, Instagram, so and so forth. Pay that success secrets, which is what I mentioned, how to run things like Google ads, Bing ads, right and how to integrate your gtm which is your google tech manager with your google analytics 4 followed by microsoft advertising cost creation success secrets how to launch your very own digital course to start getting some form of passive income online all right so over here 100 over videos my dear for just the price of seven us dollars next star club for the star club you will receive everything within the beginners club as well as a one to group zoom session every single week Currently, it's being conducted on every Sunday, 12 p.m. Singapore time, which is GMT plus 8. All right, so this will be a 197 USD monthly, and very soon this price will be changed to a fixed price of 1997. All right, now over here, Inner Circle. The best part of our Inner Circle is you will enjoy everything within the Beginners Club and the Star Club, and also a once a week one on one Zoom session with me, all right? Minimally one hour, and this is the kind of program that will be working directly with me perpetually, guys, perpetually, until you achieve a minimum of 5,000 USD for consecutively three months. That is where you graduate from the inner circle. So in a nutshell, if you are really looking to succeed with online money making, think about all the various courses that enrolled before. How many of them do you really have a mentor to work with you one-on-one -on -one perpetually until you again achieve the kind of target? All right, so if this is something that you are really looking for, please refer to the links in the description box below this video, and I'll see you in the next recording. Take care. Hi there, guys. Welcome to How to Make Money with Solo as Common Leave Ask Questions Part 11. So if you have missed any of the previous parts on this particular training series, please refer to the links in the description box below this video. In this entire training series, I attempt to answer questions that I find on different forums, such as the Udemy forum, as well as on the Quora platform. In this particular training video, let's discuss two questions that I found on the Quora platform. The first question is, can I use SoloS to promote my e-commerce store? If you guys pause the screen just now when I was highlighting the question, you will notice that the answer provided by the person who posted this question is yes, you can do so. Unfortunately, my answer is no, you cannot do that. The reason is because when it comes to solo ads and you're purchasing from different solo ads vendors, generally people like us, we are focusing on different niches. Like for my case, I focus more in the make money online niche as well as the health niche. Of course, there are different solo ad vendors that focus on different niches such as 
cryptocurrency. Now, however, when it comes to e-commerce store, now you must understand e-commerce store, you can sell any kind of physical products generally. So let's say you are currently holding an e-commerce store that is selling um, kids toys, kids clothing, all right, kids toys, that means anything specific to kids. Of course, you might be wondering, end of the day, I'm still selling something that adults will need so long as they're married with kids. So from there, I can find any solo vendors because these are supposedly real human traffic. Now, the question here is this. When somebody is interested in making money online, interested in health, yes, they might be right to say that some of the leads are married with kids. But however, is that what they are looking for at this point in time? You see, when it comes to traffic, there are always two components to look at. One is quality. The other one is laser targeted. Quality refers to, do they have the money to purchase the kind of product that you're promoting? Now, that is not our area of concern at this point in time because the question is, can I use SoloS to promote my e-commerce store? The second component is the one that I'm concerned, which is laser targeted. Laser targeted means this person is interested in whatever you are promoting. And if you want to be more even focused, all right, if you want to be even more focused in terms of what is laser targeted is, is this person interested in what you're promoting at this point in time? So that's the reason why you see generally when people are buying solo ads, the leads can be laser targeted, but it need not be that laser focused. That means they're interested in, for example, a make money online niche, but they might not be that interested to purchase the offer at that point in time. This actually leads us to the second question that I found on the Quora platform. Second question is, do solo ads really work for affiliate marketing? I bought once, but no sales. Now, guys, this is a very, very common, I would say really very commonly asked question here. Solo ads traffics are trash. Solo ads traffics are rubbish because I don't get any sales when I purchase a solo ads. At the end of the day, I feel better off without even buying the solo ads because at least I could save the cost of investment. You see, that is where a lot of people fail with solo ads, unfortunately. Because solo ads is, even though it is a form of paid traffic, it is not like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, YouTube Ads, Bing Ads, that kind of thing. Solo Ads is really a fastest and most effective way for you to build a large email list. To build a large and responsive email list, that is where you need to know how to deal with your subscribers in terms of cleaning the unengaged ones, cleaning the bounce rates, cleaning the um, complaint rates, so and so forth, or rather I would say reduce the complaint rates, increasing your domain reputation, increasing your IP reputation, so and so forth. Especially coming February 2024, which is in about less than two months time, Google and Yahoo have already come up with rules pertaining to the spam rate that they want to control. Anything above this spam rate, literally you can kiss goodbye to your emails landing into the inboxes of your subscribers anymore. All right? So what I'm trying to say here is this. Solo ads, build email list. What you deal with the email list at the back end, via your email automation, via your email broadcast, that is what brings you the sales. Now, of course, in some of my previous trainings, I also mentioned about this thing called a bias email list. So the way I segregate them is into bias list C, bias list B, and bias list A. Because why? 80% of the money, at least, will come from all these bias list. So you need to know how to further segment your subscribers who have purchased certain affiliate offers that you're promoting into different bias lists. And you must know how to handle all these kind of bias email list. What's the frequency to send them the emails? What kind of emails to send to them? All right, in order to maximize that potential 80% of your email marketing income. Okay, guys, so it is not like Google Ads, Bing Ads, that kind of thing. Those are the ones that you try to optimize the creative, optimize the ad groups in order to get the front end sales. Simply put, that is what it really matters. Those advertisements, which is also a form of paid traffic, focus on front end sales. Solo ads focus on back end sales. Even if you get sales, let me rephrase the question. Do solo ads really work for affiliate marketing? I bought once, but I always cannot get a positive ROI. The chances of you getting a positive ROI whenever you run any solo ads is one in 10,000 or even one in a thousand, that kind of thing. The chances are very slim. Why? Like what I said, they can be laser targeted, but they need not be that laser targeted that they wish to purchase your offer at that point in time. It's not even about the quality. It's not even about whether they have the money. So like what I said, 
So long as you get the mindset right, that solo as is really meant to build your email list, then that is where you will succeed with solo ads and not just focusing on the front end sales. For those of you guys who are really keen to learn about email marketing, social media marketing, paid advertising on places like Google and Bing, as well as launching your very own digital program, now please refer to the links in the description box below, whereby you will reach my main coaching page called Passive Income Profits. So from there, I have three different levels of mentorship, the Beginners Club, Star Club, as well as the Inner Circle. Now for this festive season, my Inner Circle, by right, the price is $49.97 USD. I have given you guys a $2,000 discount off at just $29.97 USD. Star Club, $197 USD by every month. Beginners Club, $7 USD one time. What is the difference between the three levels of mentorship? Beginners Club, generally, you will receive all my training videos. All, right, all my training videos are the top four strategies that online marketers use to make money. Things like, like what I mentioned just now, email marketing, social media marketing, paid advertising, as well as launching your very own digital course. For the Star Club, that is where you will receive everything within the Beginners Club, including the Facebook support, plus a weekly one-to-group Zoom sessions, whereby I will discuss all the questions that different Star Club members, as well as my Inner Circle members, hop in to ask me. So from there, you will start to learn even from my own experience. Because the way I do my training, I don't like to go for something that sounds theoretically perfect, but practically impossible. That is not my style. For Inner Circle, this is one of my higher level tier of mentorship program. So what exactly is so special about Inner Circle? Now, first and foremost, you are going to receive a weekly one-on-one -on -one session with me, all right, one-on-one -on -one Zoom session with me, all the way until you achieve a minimum of 5,000 USD profit for consecutively three months. That is the promise that I give to all my Inner Circle members. This kind of promise, if you look at the entire internet space, no one offers that. Why? Because different people come to this online business with different aptitude. Okay, I'm not saying attitude, yeah? it's aptitude, different learning curve. So this kind of guarantee is almost like me giving you a blank check in terms of my time commitment. That I'm going to work with you perpetually until you achieve this kind of target, which is a minimum 5,000 USD profits for consecutively three months. The reason why my inner circle success rate is so high is because of the time commitment that I give to my members. I understand that some of the people listen, execute slowly, some more effectively. On top of that, different people come into the inner circle with different kind of budgets. All right, some have pretty high level budget. Some have literally very little budget when it comes to running solo ads for email marketing. So that is where I cater. All right, I cater the coaching pertaining to individual members circumstances. All right, guys. So if this is something you are really looking for, you have been trying out different courses, but you're heading nowhere. Please hop on to my inner circle hop on to a complimentary Zoom session with me. Now, the way to do so is this. Once you reach my training page on Inner Circle, click on Check Curriculum. And from here, you will see this red color button to book a Zoom session before you enroll. All right? So use a desktop to book this session because sometimes it does not appear in your mobile phone. So click on this. You will reach my Calendly page. Now, this is where you can choose to book a session based on the time and date of your choice. And for example, I always open up the next five days available for you guys to book an appointment with me. All right. So generally, I have no off days. I do not celebrate things like New Year Day, Christmas Day, that kind of thing. All right. So which is why you see that even on the 1st of January, if you click on it, these are some of the available timings that I still have in order to hop onto the Zoom session to discuss with you guys about your goals, the challenges that you face, and why are you not achieving the kind of target that you aspire to achieve when you first set out on trying out or rather doing online marketing. Hopping on to the Zoom session does not guarantee that I will allow you to enroll. Why, guys? It is not about the $29.97 or $49.97. It's about whether I feel I'm in the position that I can guide you to achieve that kind of target. Because not everybody gives a blank check like this, especially at this kind of ridiculously low price. All right, so today at this time of recording is on New Year's Eve. The discount is still available all the way until the end of New Year's Day itself. So on the 2nd of January, the discount will go off. It will be back to the normal price at $49.97. And eventually, as my Inner Circle members group is growing, it will increase even further as time goes by. 
So please make full use of this discount during this festive season. And last but not least, I wish all of my subscribers, all of my viewers a happy new year and a prosperous 2024. See you in the next recording. Hi there guys, welcome to how to make money with solo as commonly asked questions part 12. Now in today's training it is very important because we are going to discuss one of the very very common questions that a lot of people are dealing with whenever they start to purchase solo as traffic which is the budget. Let's refer to this question that I found on the Quora platform. With a $100 budget, which advertisement would convert best? Facebook, Google, or solo ads? All right, guys, I believe this question was asked because this person apparently had watched some other videos on different platforms talking about $5 advertisements, $10 advertisements, that kind of thing, when you try to run paid advertising on places like Facebook and Google. Before I divulge the answers, Let's take a look at this screen over here, whereby I'm going to explain to you guys how exactly the entire solo ads process work and how exactly the entire paid ads process work. All right, the very first thing that you see on the left is when you start to purchase solo ads clicks. Let's not talk about the quantity at this point in time or the budget in place. How does the whole process really work? Whenever you purchase solo ads clicks from different solo ads vendors, straight away you will direct all these clicks to this thing called a squeeze page. Now, for those of you guys who have watched my training for the first time, welcome into my channel. So you can always refer to all the different parts of my training via my YouTube channel, whereby I explain to you guys exactly what is the main functionality of a squeeze page, what is a squeeze page, the difference between a squeeze page and a landing page, how to use a very cheap funnel building software to create something that is relatively converting for solo ads traffic. Subsequently, that is where we start to build this thing called a raw list. All right, or the raw email list. Now, you will not be able to find this term anywhere else on the internet because this is a term that I came out with on my own. I call this the raw email list. With this raw email list, that's where we promote low ticket offers to form up our buyers list C. And within our buyers list C, that's where we start to promote mid ticket offers to form up our buyers list B. And with our buyers list B, that is where we promote high ticket offers to form up our buyers list A. All right. Guys, follow me accordingly. Yeah? If you follow this two direction from the solo S clicks all the way to the raw list, this is literally just a numbers game, which means the more budget you have, the more you're able to play with these numbers, right? It's just a probability game, nothing more than that. However, when it comes to the C, B and A, that is where we are talking about this thing called a quality and strategic game. You need to know how exactly to promote mid-ticket offers, how exactly to promote high-ticket offers, what kind of mid-ticket offers to promote, what kind of high-ticket offers to promote, how to communicate with your subscribers. Are you supposed to send them value emails? Are you supposed to send them promotional emails? And how exactly are you going to provide them the kind of value email, so to speak? Are you going to come up with your own YouTube channel, your own YouTube videos, or you can actually abstract or I would say borrow from other gurus, so-called gurus or experts videos. And I know that some email marketers out there are actually using my videos to send out emails to their subscribers. All right. Um, I really do not mind this. In fact, you're helping me to do the marketing, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much. And at the same time, I believe it's a win-win situation for myself and also for your email list subscribers. Now, this is how the whole solo S process work. Let's take a look into the paid ads process. How does it work differently? When it comes to paid ads traffic, like for example, Google and Facebook, that is where you're going to channel them to this thing called landing page. Now, again, please refer to my previous trainings on what is the difference between a squeeze page and a landing page. So subsequently, that's where you direct them into this thing called a webinar or a video sales letter. All right, so that is where you get opt-ins. That means people who are interested to watch the webinar, All right? Then from there, you get bias. Clear cut. Now, the thing with paid traffic is please stop believing that $5 or $10 per campaign can work. It does not work that way, period. All right. I challenge any marketers who come and tell me that $5 campaign work. That to me is total rubbish. So from the left all the way to the right, this is an optimization and scaling game. When I mean optimization, let's look at the first component. 
paid ads traffic. You have to know what sort of paid ads traffic will work well for the kind of offer that you are trying to promote. Are you going to throw advertisements cost or rather I would say invest advertisement cost on places like TikTok or on Facebook or on Google? Is it going to be a shopping ad, Google search ad, YouTube ads or whatsoever? You have to test, right? From the testing, then you can optimize it. Landing page, you have to look at the designs, the colors, the copywritings, where to insert the buttons. These are all via testing. Webinar, video sales letter, same thing. You have to come up with different areas, different angles in terms of promoting the kind of offer that you're trying to show to them. So if somebody were to attend your webinar and every time they attend webinar, they're always seeing the same pre-recorded webinars. And even if it's a live webinar and you're always talking the same thing over and over again, do you think you will get different results? No way. So that's why when it comes to video sales letters or even webinars, top marketers tend to use different marketing angles to point to different kind of audience eventually to increase their conversions. Opt-ins. So again, when it comes to opt-ins, what kind of designs for your opt-in page will look well, right? Will be able to convert better. Buyers, of course, nothing much to optimize there. But from the buyers, a lot of platforms will allow you to create this thing called a lookalike audience. All right, and from there, you can start to optimize and scale your campaigns. Now that you guys have a very clear understanding of SoloS process, paid ads process, why not I throw this question back to you guys? Do you think a budget of $100 can work for either process. Let's not even talk about whether this budget of $100 can convert better. Which process can convert better? Okay, let's even talk about whether this budget is even sufficient in the first place to use these two processes. Now, guys, this is a very heartfelt, um, I would say a very heartfelt um, advice for especially you guys who are my subscribers, my loyal subscribers who have been watching my videos. I understand that everybody dreams of working from home. Everybody dreams of just sending emails, press a button, work one or two hours every day, enjoying a five, six digit figure income every single month, spending a lot of free time, quality time, travel all over. This is the lifestyle that I would say everybody would love. Everybody would love to have, all right? However, please understand, this is an offline business. An offline business, is really not that much different compared to an online business. The only thing is you require different skill sets, different knowledge when it comes to doing an online business. Having said so, does it mean that because you're moving into online business, you can reduce the kind of capital requirement that drastically? Of course, because I have done a lot of different offline businesses myself. When it comes to comparing in terms of the capital requirement for offline businesses versus online businesses, online businesses generally requires much lesser capital commitment when it comes to an offline business. A typical restaurant, if you open it, you'll be talking about easily, all right, the renovations, the rental. Let's say you don't purchase the premise now. That is easily going to cost millions of dollars depending on your location as well. But if you are talking about, let's say, just the rental, initial deposit, advanced rental, one plus three, one plus six, depends on how you negotiate with the landlord. Rental for the, for the for the restaurant, depending on location again, but of course you can't have a restaurant that is too small with just two tables down there, that kind of thing, right? So easily we're talking about, let's say $10,000 or even $7,000. So one plus three is already 20 over $1,000, which is four months. That is not even including your renovation. That's not even including your inventories. The money you need to set aside for your employee salary for the next few months while you're, true, while you're still trying to recover the cost of your investments. All right, the electricity bill, um, everything. There are a lot of expenses involved when it comes to offline businesses. Now, when it comes to online business, of course, you don't need that much of a huge capital involved. But it does not work so drastically until, Ben, can I start this business with 500 bucks? Guys, don't bother. Save that 500 bucks. Bring your family out for a good quality dinner, for a fantastic dinner. Buy some nice toys for your kids. You know, Valentine's Day is coming next month. Buy some nice gifts for your wife, for your husband. Save that 500 bucks. It's not going to work out that way. Now, I would say, when it comes to an offline businesses, if that city is something that requires $100,000, all right, an online business 
to reach the same kind of revenue than an offline business when I was saying generally, yeah, I'm not saying that everything works like that, you will need at least 20 to 30% of what an offline business require. At least, all right now, when it comes to paid advertising, Huge social media agencies are even spending millions of dollars every month on all these paid ads platform. Millions of dollars, my dear, every month. Right? The way their capital investments is much heavier than the typical offline business that we're talking about. But of course, in terms of the revenue that they could generate for their clients, it's in terms of tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. Those are very large scale that we are not going to talk about here. When it comes to solo ads, Hundred dollars. How many clicks do you think you can purchase? I think the best I can think of in the marketplace, the worst and the cheapest kind of traffic, three hundred clicks, four hundred clicks maybe. You compromise the quality of your traffic, and you think you can get sales? That's my question for you guys. And when it comes to paid ads, hundred dollars is not even enough for you to test so many different components. And you think they can just blindly follow some YouTuber saying that, oh, you set up it this way, that way, this way, that way, and then you will sure see some results at the end of the day. I know that this video, some or rather, would tend to offend certain creators out there based on whatever they are trying to say. But like I say, challenge me. It will not work. It does not work this way. In fact, if you are smart enough, use your logical brain and think. If $100 can help you to earn $1,000, who still want to work as an employee, my dear friends? Who still want to work for someone, someone else? Getting in the rush hour, clocking into office, withstanding all the scolding from your bosses, all the office politics. Who still want to do that? Everybody will be staying at home and just investing $100 to make $1,000 from there. <laughs> this is even better than lottery, you know, even better than what, whatever things you can think of. So please, guys. Be realistic when you want to start an online business. If you do not have the budget yet, don't do an online business. Go and work somewhere or take up some 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 form of part-time jobs and save the money. All right, before you embark into online business, that will definitely increase the chance of you making it in this business. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next recording and thank you so much for following all my videos. Now again, you can always refer to all the respective links in the description box below this video for all the softwares that I use personally. Alright, at the same time, I have also my different mentorship programs available. You can refer to the links in the description box below this video and I'll see you then. Take care. Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here from Singapore and welcome to How to Make Money with Soloes Commonly Asked Questions Part 13. As usual, if you have missed any of the previous parts of this training series, please refer to all the links in the description box below this video. In today's training video specifically, let's talk about one of the questions that I found on the Quora platform. The question goes like this, how good are solo ads to make conversion? Before I share with you guys how good are solo ads in terms of making conversions, let's first understand the different elements that needs to be in place in order for you to get sales conversion. Look at the screen over here. The very first element that is needed for the soloist to convert into sales well is your squeeze page. Now, the squeeze page is whereby when you order soloist clicks from different soloist vendors, that is the tracking URL or the squeeze page URL that you need to provide to the soloist vendors. The whole objective of this squeeze page is to get in as much opt-ins as possible at a reasonable rate. So what is a reasonable rate? Anything between 35% to 65% is reasonable all right anything more than 65 sometimes you get 70 80 percent don't be too happy all right it could be bots that's working behind the scene you will not know because this kind of opt-in rate is ridiculously too high the second element that we're talking about here is the bridge page so again if you do not know what is a squeeze page or even a bridge page you can refer to my youtube channel check out my other training videos where i share with you guys precisely what is a squeeze page the functionality of a squeeze page how can you design a converting squeeze page when it comes to solo ads traffic using one of the cheapest alternative out there in terms of a funnel building software? And what exactly is a bridge page? Functionality of a bridge page. How do you design a bridge page in that particular software? In a nutshell, a bridge page is the page that occurs between your squeeze page and the affiliate offer that you are trying to promote. Now, not every time you need to use a bridge page. And I would say most of the time, if you are running solo ads traffic, you do not need a bridge page. Now that is very important because every time when you insert multiple pages, 
before your traffic can reach to the final sales page of your affiliate offer, you are just reducing the potential conversion rates. The next element will be the affiliate offers because not every offer convert equally well. So this is in terms of you have to test different kind of affiliate offers and depending if you are talking about a front end offer, usually if they make money online niche, I will promote something that is low ticket, preferably less than $20. Then you also need to analyze the sales page of the affiliate offers. Does it appeal to the correct audience that you're looking for when it comes to purchasing your solo as traffic? The last component will be the email marketing strategies. Now, this is something which is very, very broad. So again, if you want more detailed training in terms of the email marketing strategies, please refer to my YouTube channels to check out all my different training videos. But in a nutshell, when I talk about email marketing strategies, I'm talking about your domain reputation, your IP reputation, the spam control rate, especially coming next month, 2024, which is in February, Google and Yahoo is going to come up with more spam control, all right, a lower spam threshold rate that, that they really want to control to reduce the number of spam emails that they're receiving on an everyday basis. All right, you might not believe it, but really on a daily basis, Gmail alone is receiving billions of emails into the user's spam inbox alone. So that is definitely something unhealthy. And that's why they come out with all these new regulations. So that's where you need to know how to authenticate your domains with the relevant keys like the DKIM, the SPF, your DMARC records. All right? You also need to know how exactly to do email automation messages, the difference between email automation messages and email broadcast. There are a lot of email marketing strategies involved. Like for example, choosing the correct affiliate offers to promote your initial traffic or even to your raw list. From there, how to build up your bias list C using a third-party tracking software called Optin Dojo, which is also covered some of my training videos in my channel. All right. So once you build up this bias list C, as we call it, how do you actually promote the mid-ticket offers to form up your bias list B? And eventually, how do you promote high-ticket offers to your bias list B to form up your bias list A? Because 80% or more of the revenue in your entire email marketing process is going to be from the bias email list. So going back to the original question, how good are SoloS in terms of making conversions? It really depends on these four components, but as you will know it by now, all right, hopefully, SoloS is not meant for direct conversions, or I'll say front-end conversions. The whole objective of purchasing SoloS is to build up a large email list. To make it large and responsive, you have to know how to clean the list, how to segment the list, how to deal with the different segments of your list, so and so forth. A lot of your sales will come from the back end, right? A lot of your sales. Even to a lot of my inner circle students, when they initially purchase, they always see negative return on investment. But eventually, when they start to learn how to email all the different segments of the buyer's email list, and they start to get me ticket affiliate commissions, high ticket affiliate commissions, that is where they start to understand what I have been trying to tell them. You see, this is really all about your buyer's email list and to segment them. It's not about the front end offer, right? Having said so, guys, do not ever attempt to purchase solo S clicks directly to high ticket offers. The conversion rate is going to be tremendously bad. Tremendously bad, I will say that. All right, I don't believe there's any solo S vendor out there on planet Earth that can tell you, look, buy my solo S clicks at 40 cents, $1, $7, or even $10 per click. And I can guarantee that you get high ticket sales. It does not work that way. All right? So solo S really meant for you to build a bias in your list eventually by promoting the right affiliate offers and sending email broadcasts and automation messages to low ticket offers to form up this thing called a bias list C. Then from there, build up bias list B, bias list A, promote all the mid ticket and high ticket commissions. It's all at the back end. Okay, so the question is not correct. The question is, how good are solo ads to make conversions? My direct answer would be, no way. Solo ads is not meant to make conversions. But if the question is, how good are solo ads to build an email list? I would say, excellent. Fastest, most effective way to do so. If we change the question to how good is email marketing in terms of getting sales conversion, then I'll say it's excellent. Again. All right. So it's nothing to do with solo ads. Don't confuse the two. See you in the next recording. Take care.